humdrum dark came they also from the blow off the dust. Good evening, Mr. Duquesse. Good evening, Mr. Duquesse. Good evening, Mr. Duquesse. Nice fella, nice fella. Nice fella. One two cases autograph, miss. I got one for two shillings. You have mine, miss. Only one and nine. I have both. Again, fair. Come on along. Men swinging and crowds singing. They're old, old London love Ladies and gentlemen, I will now recite to you a poem first made famous by Mr. Bransby Williams, since recited on various occasions by Sir John Martin Harvey, Mr. John Gielgud, and myself, The Green Eye of the Little Yellow Dog by Milton Hay. There's a one-eyed yellow idol to the north of Catman's Hill. There's a little marble cross below the town. There's a broken-hearted woman who tends the grave of Mad Carew. And that yellow god forever lies his down. He's always muscling in. What can you do? He has the sympathy of the public. He was known as Mad Carew by the subs at Catman Do. He was hotter than they felt inclined to tell. But for all his foolish pranks, he was worshipped in the ranks. And the colonel's daughter smiled on him as well. He had loved her all along with the passion of the strong, and that she returned his love was plain to all. <laughs> she was nearly 21, and arrangements were begun to celebrate her birthday with a ball. On the night before the dance, Mad Carew seemed in a trance, and they chaffed him as they puffed at their cigars. But for once he failed to smile, and he sat alone a while, then went out into the night beneath the stars. He returned before the dawn. Where's Biddy? With his shirt and tunic. Biddy. He better search the pockets, saying that from that guru. And she found the little green eye of the god. Where is that dog? Time passes. That's she is now. She's very cute. She thought of him and hastened to his room. You keep out of that bar. Tend to your business. Square. We follow this act. She could hear the dreamy air of a waltz tune softly stealing through the gloom. Thank you, sir. His door was open wide with silver moonlight shining through. The place was wet and slippery where she trod. Hand it over. Let me go. The money. Me. An ugly knife lay buried in the heart of Mad Carew. <laughs> it was the vengeance of the little yellow god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must ask you to excuse this slight fracas. I do not stand here for my own enjoyment, so I will ask my friend Gentry here to collect any small tribute you may feel inclined to bestow. A golden sovereign being out of the question these cruel hard times, two pence will be always acceptable. Thank you. Thank you. 
Plate Extra Star News Horse Ladies and gentlemen, with your kind permission and attention, a new conception of London's latest song success. It's gone. Well, it takes a bit of getting anyway. Yeah, sure, right. Well, I'll be down. Hello, doggy. Hello. I'll have a coffee, please, doggy. What with? Oh, I got a sixpence. I got a sixpence. It's a change. And I'll have, uh, I'll have, uh, two doorsteps. Doorsteps? Mm, big slabs of bread and butter. Oh, here. Who are they? That one with a funny hat. He's an American newspaper man. He's showing the Englishman a bit of London. Oh. And the other one? Oh, he's got a smile, hasn't he? What's his wonderful name? His name is Prentice. I think it's Harley Prentice, the songwriter. Here, you a songwriter? Yes. Ever sold anything? Yes. Who are you? Libby. From Liberty. From the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. What you do? I'm a dancer, I am. And I recite. Like to hear me? There's a one-eyed yellow monster to the north of Kathmandu. There's a little something cross below the town. There's a broken haunted woman tends the grave of Mad Carew. And the little god forever gazes down. He returned before the dawn with his shirt and trousers torn. And a gash across his temple dripping red. <laughs> he was patched up right away, yet he slept all through the day. While the colonel's daughter watched beside his bed. As she crossed the village square, she could hear the dreamy air of a wolf. Wait, oh, you and me's gonna have a talk. Here, no scrapping here. What's she done to you? What she done or what she not done is my affair, see? Here. Now you look here. Look here. Now look here. What? Look here to me. I don't stand for interference, not from nobody, I don't, see? Now look here. What's the trouble here? Just argument. I'll keep it quieter, see? Sorry, sir. And don't call me sir. Sorry, mate. Doggy, you look after your customers. Right, sir. Now, look here, oh, wait, young woman. We've all looked everywhere. Let's just uh, relax and have a cigarette. You smoke? Very kind of you, sir. Have a cup of coffee, please, doggy. And have it with me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Cigarette? Don't mind if I do. <coughs> Give us a light. Yes, rather. Come on, Harley, let's scram. Now, no passion, please. Just wait till I've paid the bill. Take it all from this, will you? Yes. Including the doorsteps and the coffee. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, where are you going to take me to now? I suggest a stroll up Bond Street. Yeah, I suggest a taxi. Well, I, uh, I've got to go now. Good night, all. Wait. Allow me to take the, uh, the liberty. <laughs> oh, th th thank you, sir. Good night, all. Did anyone happen to see what I saw? See what? Good night, all.
sorry to interrupt her rehearsal, but I'll have that cigarette case, please. I'd be obliged if you'd explain what you're talking about. Dramatic, aren't you? It's a good pose. Yes, you've got the right idea, but you keep that for an audience. See, come on, hand it over. Oh, go to... Look out, you're hurting. You don't say. Well, thank God he's got his name in it. After the reward, I see. You've got a nasty, cheap little mind, haven't you? Well, so long. And when the cops get onto all this, don't call on me as a witness to character. Just a minute. Look here, mister, who does this lovely world belong to, eh? To the people who live on it, you say, well, I'm one of them. And I've got just the same taste as all the rest. You'd be surprised. I get hungry. I get thirsty. I get cold. I enjoy smoke in a permanent wave and, and whatever I can get in the way of extras. And why shouldn't I have them? Because you haven't earned them. Anyone ever give me the chance? An orphanage brought me up and got me a job washing dishes. But I cleared out of that in double time, and why? Because it ruins the hands, see? And I have as much right to a manicure as the next. Don't talk foolish. Why not? Why not? Oh, gosh, why not? Can't you answer? There ain't no answer. You're after justice and logic. There ain't no justice and there ain't no logic. The world ain't made that way. Everything's luck, see? and good temper. And if you can take a joke, the whole of life's a joke. A joke? Then it's a joke I can't take, see? I can't take it! I can't take it! I can't take it! Now, 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 now. Hysterics don't help. Don't you touch me! That's the second time you've lent into me, and I don't like it, see? So stop it, Jeremy, stop it! I'll have the law on you, I will! I'll tell them what you've done! Hey. What? And heavy tread and a female voice. Uh, you and your voices. Go to sleep. You'll wake the children. Well, through pleasures and palaces, wheresoever are we? We're all right now. The eternal so and all. Well, there is no place like it, is there? I'm snug in here. I tell. Maybe you can tell me what I do now. You're so clever. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road. I asked you what I was to do. And I answered, sleep on it. Turn out the guess when you're done. If not before. I'll consider your problem in the morning. Pleasant dreams, sweet repose. And don't snore, see? I don't snore, see? Well, don't then.
poor pussy. Hello. Good morning. Do you want to come in? Hey, all you whiffed last night, pussy. Come on in. in. Hey, don't make a noise. Sit me down, little child. No, look at her. Ah, come out of that, you young devil, and go and sit down. Like and I'll there. thank you to stop Julian from middling into my wireless. Julian, leave that wireless alone and sit down there for your breakfast. Can we begin? To be sure you can. Manners, you wait, my lord, until your father's finished shaving. Ah, let the children have their breakfast, sure they're starving. Morning. Sleep all right? Don't know yet. We'll find out, will you? Don't you want to wash and brush up? We've had one, haven't we, pussy? Come on downstairs. Go and get the morning milk. Get out. Quietly, your brother's done. I am done. You be quiet and wipe your nose. I'm here, the kettle's boiling over. Oh, oh turn it out. Turn it out yourself, lazy bones. a man do something before. You see a lot of things in the Navy you hadn't seen before. Navy cut? Yes, mate. What we need now is a table cleared. Only Julian. What do you want, Julian? Ma says, have you turned her skirt up yet? Come back now for now, Sally, see? Can I see your little boy? Oh, now he's asleep. Oh, lost. Hey, what's the matter? Oh! What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Sit a look. Cracking the caps from over that place. I want to see your little boy. Off it, Sonny. What did he mean, your little boy? Oh, he means Robert. Lives over there. I used to be a ventriloquist before I took up the classics. Good morning, Grandfather. I'm not your grandfather. Lawyer! Charlie's young lady's cut her hand. What young lady? The young lady what he's having breakfast with. Oh, so he's got a woman in his room, has he? Do you mean to say you ever managed to fool an audience with ventriloquy? Oh, they aren't all as smart as you. You're right. Never let anyone fool me yet. Never mind those things. Come on. I'll leave the skirt with Ma on our way. On our way where? Police station. Oh. Oh. What's that? Oh, you couldn't be such a rotten sneak. Not off letting me sleep here and, and giving me breakfast and, and me believing in you. You couldn't. Now, what's all the excitement? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Aren't you... Aren't you going to turn me in? Can't fool you, can I? Oh, no, you silly little thing. Only going to end it at the station like as if we'd found it. Oh. Took you in proper, eh? 
Oh. What did you do it for? No offence, mind you. But I thought you needed a lesson. Can't have you constantly pinching cigarette cases, you know. Come on. How long has this woman been here, may I ask? Here? Who are you calling woman? I'll not have it, nor my wife won't have it. And I'll thank you to hand over her skirt. He landed over when he's been paid for his work, see? Now, Libby, this has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me? Poking his long nose into our affairs? Look here, young woman. Look I... here, old man. Can't have a brawl in front of a lady. A lady. That's what he said, lady. I'll have you injected. Oh, you will. Yes. Yeah, ah, ah, oh. How dare oh. you put finger on me? <laughs> Sorry. Let me out. Oh. Now. The other woman in his room. Oh, yes, oh, yes, but oh, yes. oh, yes. I shall have. Look here, Ma. Have you ever known me do the Don Joanna? No, well, then, what I got in there is my new leading lady. You can blow a trumpet till you're blue in the face. She sings like a robin, she dances a tree. Not over my head, she won't. Dear Omar. Well, maybe, maybe I could put a room with one of the children until I have a room free. You do that for me, Ma, and I'll give Julian elocution. <coughs> Other people teach people lessons to see. I see. <coughs> oh, well. The trouble about education is, it comes expensive. Here. What's that? Where's my berry? Now look here. Going to get my berry. Now you don't want a berry. Go away! Silly little coat, aren't you? I never did. Come on now, stop it. You're grown up, you are. Got to behave, you know. <laughs> stop arguing me. What's the matter now? I'm sorry I broke your things. I'm sorry I stole your sixpence. I'm sorry I made a mock of you. I'm sorry, you silly fool. I'm sorry. All right, then, you're sorry. Now, now stop it, see? Hey, you cry yourself all puffy. Got a mirror? Got a frying pan? Come here. I don't use that one. I keep it for shaving purposes. <coughs> you see yourself? <coughs> That's more like it. Oh, like what? More like my leading lady. say. I've seen you dance. I've heard you give an imitation of me. I don't mind saying, I consider you promising. We have the experience, you have the temperament. All we want now is the new turn. C H A R L E S. There. I wonder if I did that right. How many peas in Happy? Ah, who cares? Many. Happy returns to Charles. And many of them. No room. Got to put his age. Bag of young divil. Come out of that. What are you doing in there? Take that cake and be off with you. Why, oh, nice lot of children I've got. Holy St. Patrick, the state you're in. Come out of here. Come out. Come out. What's in there, you young 
jibber you here. And look at the mess you're after getting on your clean pinnacles. I, I don't hold with clean pinnacles. Oh, he'll be in before the cake. Hey, hey, here I say. What are you up to? Don't come in till I call, you see? What are you up to in there? Boy, when can I come in? Boy, I'm getting cold out here. Open the door! You can come in now. I should hope so. Many happy returns. I'm not 40, I'm 39. How did you know it was my birthday? I was looking through your papers, found your birth certificate. Oh. Much obliged, I'm sure. Oh. Very nice. Thank you. Put it on. All right. Here, give it to me. Hold still. Makes me look a bit yellow. You've been looking yellow lately. You haven't had a Saturday off since I've been working with you. Time you had a holiday. So long as you come. I hate and detest the country. I could make you like it. Ever heard the nightingale? Pretty. We must have a Sunday off soon. Well, I should like to see your face first time you hear one. Any admittance? Hello. It's my birthday. Oh, oh, many returns, shall we? Thank I'm you very sure much, Arthur. I never knew anyone else would have given anyone else the lowdown. If you'd only let Charles get to his own cake. Come on, everybody, sit down. Yeah, That's right. Charles. What a cake, eh? Oh. What a cake, what a cake, what a cake for Jubilee it Terrace. Is lovely. Uh, I must say. Uh, 40? You? Oh, you're getting middle aged, you really are. I'm 40. I'm 39. <laughs> Not <laughs> out. Oh. Come on, boys, now, roll the old up. One, Woo. two, three. Hey, cut it careful. You can all sit there looking as stuffed as you like, but it'll be a sensation. I feel it in my bones. Quite, old boy, but my individuality may be swamped in an ensemble. Nowadays, the individual's washed up. Cooperation, that's the stuff, so I says to myself. There's young gentry on his own and poor old Arthur on his own. I've got Biddy. Maybe you have got Biddy, but you and Biddy, you're a duet, you ain't a troop. Boy, what I'm feeling after's a troop. Tell them my idea. You tell them. Well, we form a quartet and we do a big production number. Oh. We thought we'd call ourselves the cooperators. Julian. What about music? Diner. Bicycle made for two. Tipperary. No, no, we... those are classics. Can't we have something modern, something with a, with a swing to it? Well, tell them your idea. Oh, well, I had thought of a little composition of my own. Oh, you want la 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 Here, what 
what's all this? Is this a respectable front entrance or is it the BBC? They're making a new turn. Well, I won't damage. it. Here, pass along there, please. Pass along. Doesn't Mr. Saggers live here? Mr. Charles Saggers? He does indeed. Not long he won't if he don't shut his windows. Show Charles how to do the step. Gentry, come on. Talk, we'll talk. play. Uh, come on, Charlie. Don't lose heart. You'll soon get it. It's only a neck. Ready? One, two, two three, four. Uh, one. Charlie, you're not doing it right. I know I'm not, but I can't do that tatar going that way. Just a minute. Charlie, come here. I want you. There's a gentleman to see you. Carry on. Oh. Oh, uh, why, uh, Mr. Prentice, ain't it? Yes. Who, uh, lost the cigarette case. Oh, well, I'll be bidding you good day. Thank you so much. I'm always sorry to break in like this, but I only got back yesterday and I, uh, I found you returned my cigarette case. Just wanted to thank you. Didn't you wonder at not hearing from him before? Oh, no, no, sir. People don't trouble, gloves and such. I uh, had to leave this address for my uh, bona fides. Oh, yes. Well, now. I'd rather not, sir. I mean, uh, the circumstances. The girl? The girl, sir, don't quite take your meaning. Your cigarette case was found under the counter, sir, after you left. Oh. No reason to refuse a reward, is there? Very good of you, sir. I'd rather not, sir. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry too, sir. In fact, uh, I'm only sorry the old thing happened. Come on, Charles, I got a new step. Oh, did you, Ezzy? It's all right, Miss Liberty. Uh, oh, pleased to meet you again. I came to thank Mr. Saggers for returning my cigarette case. Oh, had you uh, dropped it, won't you come in where rehearsing? Mustn't uh, waste Mr. Prentice's time, Libby. It's a pity you didn't bring your journalist friend along. No, no, Libby, Libby. Well, he might have given us a write-up. So might I. What? You don't mean to say you could use an interview. Charles, he wants an interview. Now who's to give it to you? Or me? Come on in. Ever since my early childhood, I had an intense desire to express myself. I was still hesitating in which direction to develop my career, but I had the good fortune to meet Mr. Charles Saggers, one of the leading street artists of the day. We joined forces with Mr. Arthur Smith. <coughs> Mr... What's your real name, Gentry? I'd rather not say. Well, anyway, we never looked back. We're hoping to put on a new show at the Hobon Empire next Monday. Monday? I'll be there. Libby, the gentleman don't understand. We're outside, not inside. He knows, but you needn't put that down. Libby, you didn't ought to sit on the arm of that chair. You know it ain't safe. Go on. Miss Liberty. Liberty what? Just Liberty. Like Garbo, see? Looks better on a billboard. First time I've heard of all this. Liberty, as she prefers to be called, will not always be content with the life of the streets. Is that the line? That's the line. My ambition is to dance in every capital in Europe, starting with the Hoburn Empire. Wait here, driver, will you? I'll bring them over when they're finished.
night and day. You can hear them saying, I said, I love you. Pathetically funny. That girl can dance anyway. Hello, Mr. Saggers. Oh, how do you do, sir? How do you do? Uh, Libby, Libby, Mr. Brent is here. Uh, would you excuse me, sir? Thank you. Hello, Libby. How do you do? Loved your show. Oh, so glad. People want to meet you. Thank you, sir. Here, here, George. People want to meet us. Oh, Come on, here you are. Miss Liberty, Mr. Saggers, Lady Selina. How do you do, Miss Bridge? How do you do, how do you do, Miss Madam, uh, Miss uh, Sir Honoured Armstrong? Would you excuse me? I uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, lady. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Pass along, uh, you've been here long enough. All right, Charles, just finish him. Look at Constable. You want me to run you in? Look here. That's all right, sir. We know them. Now hop at you. No, it's entirely my fault, Constable. Oh, we can't allow obstruction, sir. Do they always push him around like that? But after all, Dello's right. Asking's only an excuse for begging. Cut it out, boys. They don't give you a chance. Make it slippy. Go to it, boys, but look out. He's an awkward son, said the knight. You take a chance. Run along. I'm awfully sorry about that. You go on inside. You got the money and you got the right. Oh, Libby. You had him move us on. Look here, I'm getting a party tonight. I want you to come and dance for us. What? Do you know fine friends to Bokeh? Thank you for nothing. Don't miss it, just snob. I'm asking you to give a professional entertainment. Professional? Oh. Come on, old lady. Come in. We'll be there. Bye. What do you think of that? Never mind, already. We made a final. Close on 12, Bob. Come on. We're all right. Happy days, happy days. But taking it by and large, I wouldn't ask for better support from a better company. As for Libby, we all know the new turn was her idea. I remodelled it, of course. Now the last word has to lie with the producer, my girl. Well, here's to basking, past, present and future. Gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen. Shall I tell you something? You may. In ten years from today, there won't be a busker on the streets. What do you mean? Just because you took 12 bob, you think everything's lovely. Well, it's not, see? What do you suppose it means, this everlasting moving you on and then bylaws and charged with abstraction if you so much as sneeze? I tell you, they're trying to get us off the streets altogether. Yeah, I'd like to see them. You will have your wish. Nobody wants us, really. They laugh at it. You hold your noise. She's right. What are you talking about? My family sold flowers in the old streets of London to the old Queen's coronation. But the handsomes have gone, and the horses have gone. And soon, now, we'll have to go. Well, tonight's cured me. 
Well, old Maud, and you heard that cat in mink. An excuse for begging, she said, and she was right. I'm off. Coming? I'm the manager. You're a member of my troop. Sit down. Good night, all. Insubordination. I see. Yes, madam? Mr. Prentice asked me. What name, madam? Uh, Liberty. Oh, yes, he's expecting you. Will you come in, please? Oh, right inside, please. May I take your things? Thank you. And your uh, hat? Um. Thank you. This way, please. Liberty. Oh, here you are at last. I'm so glad. Didn't you bring Mr. Saggers? No. No. He stopped behind to make a speech. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, come and meet everybody. Nonsense. Wait until they're finished. Come and have a drink. Hello, Charlie. Leisure, hadn't you? How did the new turn go? Didn't Libby tell you? No. I'm going to bed. Good night. She ain't home yet? No. Oh, well, of course, it's early yet. She'll be in later. You and Libby didn't have words, did you, Charlie? No, no, no. She told me she might not be in yet a while. She couldn't say. Oh, it is good. What is it? Don't tell us you never tasted champagne before. Oh, I do tell you, I never tasted champagne before. Try some of my cooking, Miss Liberty. Oh. Mm, much obliged. Phew. Sausages in mint. I don't get it. I don't get any of you. You will. Go to bed, my dear. After all, it's my job to wait up for her. And why is it your job, Charlie? Why? Well, I mean, she has to have some man to look after her, hasn't she? Of course she has. Some young fellow of her own age will take her about to dances and parties and things. Why shouldn't I sit up for her? Oh, you know well enough, Ma, I'm fair wrapped up in the kid. That's why a man of 40 ought to have more sense. I ain't 40. I'm 39. Anybody looking after you, Miss Liberty? He is. He is. Oh. Uh, I want it. I'm sure you do. You're going to be removed from temptation, Libby. Oh, but the party's hardly begun. We have plenty of parties later on. You come and see me and I'll fix you up. Why should I come and see you? I get a big theatrical agent. Oh, I come tomorrow. What time?
María. Fred, I can't ask you in. Oh. Good night and congratulations. For what? Success story, chapter one. Say what? Say what? Oh. All right then. Charles. Where have you been? <laughs> Dancing. Quiet. They hear you. They, they. You don't get out of it like that, you don't. What do you mean by stopping up till all hours, keeping Ma up and me up? Who asked you to sit up? I never asked you to sit up. A light woman. That's what you're turning into. But I won't have it, see? Not if I have to lock you in. Now shut up. got to have a talk. I'll talk to you in the morning. It is morning. You clear out, see? You're drunk. I ain't drunk. And I'll clear out when I know you've been. I've only been with Mr. Prentice. I'm sorry you sat up. Really, I am. But he asked me to his party and I thought, well, I'd... Yes, you try another. What you mean? Party me I. Party a two. You say that to me again, I'll smack your face. Libby, are you telling me the truth? Why, old Charles, of course. I'm sorry. But you didn't ought to have gone off like that, Libby, all that stuff you talked to, and then walking out on me. I mean... It's more than flesh and blood can stand. But I've been out late before. Well, it's the last time. We've got to have a totally new arrangement. You in this room and me up there. Well, that ain't sense. You know, I lay awake at night. It all goes round in my mind. The new turn and you and you and the new turn. Charles, there ain't going to be any more new turns. I'm going on the stage. The agent of Mr. Prentice is fixing it all up. I told you I'd get there. I told you. What happens to me and Arthur and Gentry? You hadn't thought of that, had you? Well, why should you? Look here, Charles. You always said I could act. Now, don't stand in my way now I see the chance of a real job. After all, busking's only fooling. Are you telling me I spend my life making a fool of myself? Well, well, in a way. You see, old lad, if we was any good, we'd be in the theatres, not outside them cadging for coppers. Better than pinching them. You throw that up at me? How long have I been working with you? Ever know me cheat you once since? How can I be sure? Get out! Get out! I won't get out. Get out! I've a right to be out. Get out! Listen, you. I'm telling you to stand up and listen. I can't do anyone to listen, can I? I'll tell you what I didn't mean it. I won't have you going away. You stay here. Get out! Stop it, you little fool. 
I wasn't hurting you. This is with you. I want to marry you. Will you get that? That's it. Marry, you see. Have you gone out of your mind? I mean, I mean, you better look in the frying pan, hadn't you? Ma! 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 He come barging into my room, the things he says. I think he must be loony. Charles, you ought to come along with us. That's it, Charlie. Come and have a good rest. Now we have got it clear. First I'm drunk, then I'm loony, then I'm told to lay down an ash, because it seems I'm only a beggar. So it don't really count what I say or do! Partnership's off, Ginger. That goes for you too, Arthur. Off, smashed, finished, washed up. We can all starve, and who cares? Our leading lady's got a new job. So I'll get a new job outside Baskin. You think I can't do a man's day? I'll show you. I'm a man, I am. Though some of you think it funny. I have to say so. I think it funny myself. I'm fed up with the humour of it. Dear old Charles. Good old Charles. Yes, he's good enough to fetch and carry. Good enough to feed the cat when the rest of you can't spare the time. But when it comes to give and take, work and play, men and women, then it's good morning to your Charles. Keep on your own side of the street, the gutter side. All right. But it's I who's saying good morning. See? Good morning! Good morning to you all! It's frightfully, awfully bad. Oh, I can't get it. It doesn't work. Still a great title. Oh, shut up. If you've got any constructive criticism to give, give it. If not, clear out. That's right, darling. You tell them where they get off. You all sit around and you fuss him and you worry him. How do you expect him to work, no, darling? No. Let's hear what you've got. And hurry, because Duquesne will be here in a minute. I'm not ready for Duquesne. Oh, now let me hear it then. All right, darling. <laughs> but I can't dance to that. You want something like... But who is he? Oh, excuse me, Dan Constantine. But he's good. I ought to know. I used to dance with the man who played the mouth organ. Do you remember that? You used to dance. How did it go? Oh, you mean... Da, 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 da.
Uh, Miss Liberty. Thank you. Yes, ever since my early childhood, I had this desire... To express to myself. When Mr. Prentice discovered me, it was like a fairy tale. Thank you, Muriel. Of course, I owe everything to Mr. Prentice and to Mr. Hackett. And, of course, to our backer, Mr. Tempany. T-E-M-P-E-R-L-E-Y. He's been wonderful. Wonderful. And how do you like playing with Mr. Duquesne? Oh, he's wonderful. Wonderful. Be quiet. It doesn't occur to you that I've got nerves and I might like my dressing room to myself. Oh, I didn't mean you. I'm so glad you came. Thank you so much. I do hope you enjoy the show. Hold thumbs for me. We will. Just say she's wonderful, boys. Good luck, babe. Thank you, clever, don't you? Gave me all worked up my first night. Good thing you were flat enough at rehearsals. Catch me going all out at rehearsals. Just because you want to hear your own song sung over, over and over again. It's a trouble I never can. Not even in the middle of the stalls. Oh. Well, it might interest you to know that I've had Jack Templey the back of the gallery for the last nine rehearsals and he says... That... You're wonderful. Well, anyway, where would the show be without Templey? Trouble with you is you've got no sense of gratitude. Hold an air, please. Well... Hold an air, please. Good luck, Libby. If you want to know the one person in this show who is wonderful. Oh, darling. Water now, please. Oh, that's you. Oh. Well, God bless. Bye-bye. Come on, Muriel, quick. It's all right, dearie. You've got a full 20 minutes before your entrance. Oh, by the way, uh, these are from me. Oh, it's hot in here. Open the window, dear. <laughs> Mind your voice, dearie. I'm inside. <laughs> <laughs> Get a bite, man. Who's a good girl? Oh, man. Get back to our phone, will you? Get back to our phone. Get out of the way. Oh. Get out of here. Get out Stop. Get out of here. Get out of here. Green on! Charlie! Just a minute, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, just a minute, Charlie, Charlie, just a minute, Charlie. That was Charlie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Gave me the go by, same as last time. Go home. Oh, pity, do go home. Look here, go home or I'll cut your tail off. Hey, look, look, there's Arthur, see? Look, there's Arthur. Go on. Oh, I can't do that. Hold it. Hold it. How much time we got? Oh, come on, dear. Hurry. Thanks. That's right now. Come on. Charlie, you were marvellous. Schwartz finds in the third row. Oh, no. He's crazy about it. You pleased with me? I told you, well, wonderful. Wonderful. She doesn't know how wonderful she was. They like me in front. You're crazy about it. Do you like me? Like? I don't you know. I love my present. Oh, darling, I'm so glad. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm nearly as beautiful as you are. And the next, please.
Sergeant. It's a bare-faced lie. We'll see about that. Come on. Yes, oh, I can get tomorrow. Please, just one more. Good boy. It was a success, wasn't it? Mm, who cares? Success makes a difference. If you let success make a difference to you, you're not the success. Shall we take it off or shall we let her ring? Let who ring? Ooh, success. Hello? Oh, hello, Jack. Temple. I'm not here. I'm not here. What? Uh, Lily? No, I took her home. Well, she didn't want to break the party up, so we slipped away quietly. No, I wouldn't ring her. She's, uh, she's pretty tired. Oh, he's got all the notices. Has he? What well, was try, but she used to switch that phone down. Ask him what the time is. Did up. you hear me the time? Shut up. What? Jack? Yes, that sounds very satisfactory. He says they're all wonderful. What, Hollywood? Already? I said it's a bit quick. Give it to me, give it I'll to me. I'll ring you later. You greedy little fool. Do you want Templar to know you're here? Oh, what do I care about Templar if it's Hollywood? Kick away, Templar. Kick away, all of us. Can't you tell me what he said? Schwarzbein wants you for Hollywood. I knew he would. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're superior, aren't you? Laughing at me. I'm laughing at both of us. I suppose you're sorry I've got a success. Oughtn't I to be if it takes you to Hollywood? Well, not if you come too. Oh. Oh, I'm to come too. But of course. We get married and then... I'm not going to marry you, Libby. Oh. Aren't you? Can you give me one reason why I should? Because you're in love with me. In love with you, but... But what? I don't propose to be the next Charles. Charles? What on earth put him into your head? Oh, poor old Charles. Where's Charles? I don't know what you mean by barging, if I may say so, into a fellow's bedroom. Where is Charles? I don't know how you have the nerve to ask me. What do you mean, nerve? Don't you know what nerve is? Then I'll tell you. Nerve's what you've done to Charles. First, you pinch his pitch. Then when he turns soft and lets you come along with us, like as if you was a stray cat, and cat's the word for you, then what? Then you pinch his ideas. Then you get between him and his friends. Then off you go without a word except a couple of picture postcards to Ma from Scarborough. Look here. I don't need to. I took your measure, miss, the first time I seen you. Anything more to say? Well, sir, not to trouble you with my life history. 
I was born in a circus, but I preferred the classics. I'm a professional reciter, see? Would you like to hear me? What'll you have? Hamlet, green eye, if... If you can keep your red when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you! That's enough. Would well, that's my bona fides, your worship. Is anything known about him? Well, sir. Well, sir, there is no denying it. Convictions have mounted up something awful. Twenty-four, all told. Only nineteen, your worship. Only nineteen? Oh, I see. You're not reckoning the admonished. Quiet. <laughs> right. Have you any explanation to give as to why you were hanging about the theatre, drunk? Well, sir, why not? I mean... There she was inside, and there I was outside. Of course, I knew she had it in her from the start for all her swank. So I came back at the end, just to watch her. But watching her, I realised for the first time I'd lost my joie de vivre. So I hit out. I'm sorry I hit him. But it done me good at the time. Mm. You'll have to go to prison for four months. Four months? I'm giving you four months partly to let you have the chance of thinking things over. Try and do better when you come out. Do better? I will. I'll go in for a new job altogether. Can't you see where you're going? Oh, I say I'm awfully sorry. My fault, really. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you. More match, please. Steady, old man. This way. Thank you. Give me a minute, madam. Bye, match lady. Oh. Stoth. Oh, I say, Libby. What a get out. What are you? Charles, how dare you? Your taxi, madam. Take care, my man, take care. Can't you see the poor fellow's blind? Blind my foot. In you get your ditty. You there is Martin's leg. I'm ashamed of it, that's what I am. I leave behind me a respectable bastard. What do I find a bilker whining for charity? I didn't. I wasn't. Well, today was the first time. That's your story. Muriel, stop him. Come on, dear. I tell you I did it for a lark. I only came out last week. Out of what? Hospital? Clink. Prison. You? Oh, so you couldn't even fool the police, eh? You haven't got it right. I have got it right? Yeah, I slave and try to do you credit, and what sort of credit do you do me? You. You look at yourself in a... frying pan. I ain't forgot. Tom, you did then. Now look at yourself in a proper glass. Here. You're a jailbird. You ain't shaved for a week. You've been old enough that public and you've been drinking. You didn't leave me much else to do, did you? You proved to me I was a washout. <gasps> oh! How can you tell such wicked lies? You did, Libby. Charles, dear. Oh, Charles, whatever you've got in your fat head, I never said it and I never thought it. You did, Libby. Oh, well, and if I did, it was because I lost my temper and I didn't get from you. Muriel, I must stop it. Come on. Just going to pay you back in your own coin, you leave poor old Arthur and poor old Gentry stranded. Turn your back on the home and the cat and, and respectability, all to satisfy your wicked pride. And as for me, I might have dropped back into the gutter for all you cared. Oh, never thought what I'd be worried, did you? I tell you, when I see you at your play acting with your poor silly old face, Oh, there I go, spoiling me makeup, and I've got her ears in a few minutes. Oh, Charles, Charles. You paid me out. Now ease up. Come back to your own job. And be Charles again. Libby, could I have a small drink? Oh, how long has this been going on? How long's what been going on? These small drinks are yours. Don't know. Well, it's got to stop, see? You can have this one, but no more. Charles! Charlie! Charlie, turn around and talk to me. Charlie. There's a couple of small parts going in the new show. 
If you can pay a blind man good enough to fool me for half a second. You own it, do you? Yeah, yeah. What about coming down to rehearsal and showing them all what you can do, eh? Eh? Oh. Eh? Oh. Uh, there ain't anything I could do. Not suitable. Oh, of course there is. Here, here, what about Green Eye? I'm off Green Eye. What about if, Charles? Dear old Charlie, what about if? Uh, well, uh, I haven't done it for a long time. Why, it's easy. I know it. If you can keep your edge, when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if... Easy, easy. That ain't the way to do it, my gal. You, you've got to get him in the mood from the first word C. You want to tack. If you can keep your edge when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you... I have a part, see, or I walk out. That's all right, darling. We'll fix if it. If you can wait, but not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. <laughs> Order, please. If you can dream and not make dreams, your master. If you can think and not make thoughts, your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same. If you it's can bear bad, to hear the truth you've light. spoken, Twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools. Or oh, watch the things you gave your life to. Broken. Uh, oh, and stoop. Build them up with worn out tools. If. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it at one turn of pitch and toss. Tommy, bring me a cup of coffee. Tell them to be quiet. I won't have them interrupt you. Quiet back there. Oh, they know about anything anyway. Go on, Charles. Go on. And lose. And lose. And start again. What? And start again. And start again, Charlie. Start again. It's your beginnings. And never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve their turn long after they are gone, and so hold on. And there's nothing in you except the will which says to them, Hold on. Charlie. Well, it isn't any good, darling. You can't make an actor out of me. Oh, I've been outside. Too long. Why, well, I'm a basker, see? It's all right. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. Aren't you? You always was. Stop hugging me. Well, 
Now you've got to behave, you know. Martin Harvey, Mr. John Gilgood, and myself. 